I have absolutely no clue what Nintendo were thinking, but they just decided to unleash, like, an entire army of information about the game today. And I just thought, hey, let's just do this unscripted analysis of all the stuff that's happened. Why not? Also, apologies for the voice, I am feeling quite ill at the moment, so uh, if I sound a bit nasally and a bit weird, that's why. So I think I'm just gonna get all the separate stuff out of the way first. Uh, Inkblot. Inkblot is now apparently gonna be our next big run stage, and that big run will be happening from the 4th to the 6th of March. For people in America, it'll be from the 3rd to the 5th, but you'll really just have to check where it is in your area. I don't really know what I think of this. Nobody really asks for Inkblot to be the next stage, I know a lot of people were wanting Mahi, but I mean, this is fine. The feeling High Tide would be like up here, they'd have to renovate the map to be way less sort of elevated. I could see how it could work though, like Wahoo, that stage works perfectly. I was really happy with how Wahoo worked. So if they can like achieve a similar level of quality there, then it'll be absolutely amazing. A new King Samurai has also been revealed, it's a weird dragon looking thing. He looks like someone out of Dragon Ball. <laughs> Again, he looks pretty cool. He's gonna be the main star of the show in the big run, and I'm pretty sure if you do well enough, you can get like a trophy of him, which I think looks really sick. There's also this new Sam run mode, which is apparently happening, which I think is really cool. In big run, there was like this competition, right, where you had to collect the most eggs, and whoever got the most eggs at the end, who was in like the top 50%, 20%, and 5%, etc., would win like a big trophy or whatever. It's kind of the same deal, but you're on a set stage with like set scenarios, job scenarios. Uh, you get a sticker if you win, which I think is pretty neat. Also, a bunch of new gear has been released. The good skill gear from Splatoon 2 is now unlockable, and you can use your silver, bronze, and gold scales in order to purchase that. I think that just about does it for all the summer stuff. There's, there's a lot, and I think it's so cool that Nintendo are finally paying a bit more attention to the mode. It's so nice to see so many different things being updated. In other news, the new catalog uh, was revealed. It was already leaked on Friday, thanks to a... Uh, I'm assuming it's a mishap on Nintendo's part. There's a bunch of other people that have gone into the content, so I won't really, but just know, it looks like a really, really good catalog, and I think you should definitely invest your time in getting it, since most of the emotes look phenomenal. A new charge kit got released earlier today, and not gonna lie, it looks really, really good, so I'm just gonna quickly go over my thoughts on that and what it will do for the game. So they gave the default charger splash wall as a sub weapon, right? This is a throwback to the fire fin splash charger from Splatoon 2, which had a very similar kit to this one. It may not seem too bad at first glance, but when you really think about it, it could actually be quite broken on the weapon. So let's say this blue W is a splash right here. Okay, so this is a splash matic I'm the charger, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my thing, I'm trying to snipe, trying to snipe some people. This guy got some picks there, got some picks there. Awesome. So, let's say this splash, while I'm charging up again, tries to approach me, right? And I don't really have anything to defend myself with, right? Because I'm still charging, I can't shoot my shot yet. What the wall can do, is the wall can stop the splash from approaching. So the splash, if I'm the splash, I can either go around the wall, which would give me time to get away as the charger player, or I could just try and break the wall, which, and, and like, wall's incredibly good in this game, because it's a HP special, like, burst bomb can't really get through it, splash is a main weapon, can't really get through it, and overall, it's, it's just a really good defensive option, and as a backliner, you're going to be wanting to spam that a lot. But what weapons to the Googlers want to use the wall aggressively? With the Splat Charger, if, if you're trying to take your snipe and someone's coming towards you, you can just throw the wall, get out of there, and then if they try to break the wall, you can just tap shot them, right? Or, that can give you enough time to charge up a shot and then strike, right? So let's say there's a wall there, right? Gives me enough time, it's still active, boom. Ignore that. So see, there's a wall there. It's still good. <sighs> so let's say there's a wall where that splat bomb is, right? It's, it's still going. The splash is trying to break it. I have enough time to fully charge up a shot and take that guy out, right? So the wall is really impressive for charger players, and I think that gives this weapon a whole new realm of possibilities. And I think that's really cool for the game. And in addition, it also gives you a tool to defend against other backliners. If you have an elite sitting up there, you do, you do, and you don't want to get sniped or outraged, just throw the wall down, right? Just throw the wall down, and you're protected and you can snipe them, right? You can get into range. So typically the problem with triple extract, right, is that you're playing a shooter, you're playing a T-Tech, you're playing any sort of short range weapon. If, if you're trying to pressure someone over there, right? Let's say we're pressuring this dummy. If you're trying to deploy them, you're nice and vulnerable, right? You're nice and vulnerable. You have a lot of space to throw the triple strikes, but overall, you're going to be very vulnerable and just going to be stuck in kid form whenever you're trying to throw them. However, with the charger, it's a different story. As I mentioned before, with the charger, you're wanting to play at a distance, right? You're wanting to play on snipe, you're wanting to position in places where the enemy can't reach you, but you can still hit them. And if you have a triple strike to pressure them and displace the enemy team, 
it's going to be really handy to not only displace them and get them out of your way and stop them from shooting at you, it's also going to be useful to refill your ink tank and get some more shots in, right? It doesn't... It, it, it forces you to play a lot more defensive, a lot more safe, a lot more displacement heavy, and overall, it really enhances your ability as a backliner to, well, backline, right? The current charger has more of an offensive kit, right? It's splat bomb for poking and pressuring, and overall, thanks to the ink vac, it just sort of encourages more aggressive play. But with this, you don't need to be aggressive. You can just sit back, throw your ink strikes, throw your walls to protect yourself. Overall, the new charger just seems absolutely insane, and honestly, I'm not sure how good it will be for the game. Not gonna lie, all this new information has got me really excited for fresh season, so yeah. Let's, let's really just see what it has in store for us, but yeah. That's all I really have for today. Uh, I, I, again, sorry for the voice, I'm feeling quite sick, but I can't really control that. I wanted to get this video out for you guys, since I think it's really, really cool. Have a good day, everyone. Take care. Happy Monday, and I'll see you all in the next video. Whatever that is. I don't know. Take care. Have a good day.